Hey guys, Tom here, I hope you're well. Here today doing a review of the KTM Duke 790. This bike's been kind of lent to me by the guys at Laguna Motorcycles in Maidstone. So if it is a bike you're interested in, please do give them a shout. So first time having a go on a KTM and this is absolutely awesome. Uh, priced at 8799, um, I think it's an awful lot of fun. So it's a 799cc parallel twin, delivering 103 brake horsepower um, 87 newton meters of torque and that comes in at around 8,000 rpm seat height is 825 millimeters um, it's got a fuel tank of 14.1 and the weight the i can only find listed weight of the of what it is dry which it says 169 kilograms so i'm presuming wet with the fuel tank we're probably looking at 190 i would say doesn't feel heavy at all weight feels quite good isn't it uh, one thing that has struck me straight away jumping on this bike is the seating position. You, you really are quite upright. It feels more like an adventure bike than anything sort of sporty. So you can ride this for, for quite a while, I would say, uh, and not have any problems. In terms of the styling of this bike, this is the, the black one. Um, I'd probably go with the, the good KTM orange that you get. I think they do stand out quite well. Exhaust, it's interesting exhaust the way it is styled comes up here i think you're either gonna like these bikes or not I, uh, it's it's interesting styling i i think they're all right you know it, it's not exactly my style um but i could definitely see people people liking them and for riding it it is it's great fun so the front as well you've got hardly any wind protection uh well what looks like hardly any wind protection but i've had it up to speed and surprisingly it's not that bad at all, really. Um, I've thought it'd be a lot windier, but it must be the, the angles that they've got on the side bits coming up and the, the light at the front there. You know, it, it, it works really, really well. Right, let's, um, let's start her up. So we've got a TFT screen here, um, which comes off, it says, ready to race, <laughs> which, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I suppose it's all right. <laughs> I don't know if it puts you in the wrong frame of mind jumping on a bike. Um, but fire it up. Quite a loud exhaust. Straight away. We'll give her a rev. I mean, yeah, it is. It's pretty loud, I would say which is good because most stock exhausts don't really have that level of volume. Uh, one thing that is weird that I'll show you here that I've noticed. So when you indicate, which is really bizarre. So if I indicate right here, my indicator uh, light that's coming on looks like it's hazard lights, you know, which really was throwing me when I'm riding. And I've come around to double check and it is just, you know, the, the right ones on there. Um, left one isn't on. I thought maybe there'd be a bulb gone or something, but you know, at the back, it's all fine. So I've got no idea why that would be the case. Very strange. In terms of changing uh, uh, rider modes, you can go through the, I've got the little controls here. So if I go to set, you can see here, you can then come down to ride mode. And then you've got the options of sport, street, rain or track. Um, we're in street at the moment, but I'll stick it into sport in a little bit. Uh, and then you've got other options that you can do with this as well. You know, obviously, you know, people will go through the menus and work them out as they want. In terms of, you know, the view you've got when you're riding, you know, you've got these big mirrors, which are easy to, um, easy to move around as well. A lot of bikes, it seems moving the mirrors and adjusting them is a bit tricky, but these ones move very easily. I jumped on and just put them in place straight away. So, so yeah, I think it's good. I mean, the brakes at the front, it, it's got some KTM brakes at the front, which are, you know, really good. Uh, no problems at all, great amount of power on those. Uh, first time on a KTM, like I said, so, you know, it, it's, it's been a really good experience so far. I'm, uh, I'm liking the way this bike bike rides a lot of fun um, and and easy to ride okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back on um, and take you guys out so you can see what it's like 
Cheers. Okay, so here on the KTM Duke 790. First time on a KTM actually. Feels really good so far. <laughs> Don't know what I was expecting, but the position that I'm sitting in is really quite good. So the uh, test route I'll be doing today, same as my usual test route, very much a real life test. We'll be going out through town, up the dual carriageway, back down through town, hopefully get a chance for a bit of filtering, and then out to find some twisties. So yeah, seating position on this, I am uh, I'm quite upright. I feel like my knees are at a really good angle. Um, they're sort of, well, my hips are sort of going forward and then my knees are about a 45 degree angle going down to the pegs but I feel like I'm in quite a commanding seating position I don't feel like I'm in a racy position at all it feels more like an adventure style bike in terms of the positioning feet down at the moment very comfortably I'm 6 foot weigh about 90 kilos inside leg measurement of 33 inches got a few different rider modes on this uh, I'm in the street rider mode at the moment uh, I'm not sure how to change it I can't see the button for it so I probably won't change that on the fly I'll change it when I pull over nice little catering Yeah, that wind is really not too bad at all. There was a moment when I was riding along thinking, oh, wind's not too bad at the moment, let's look down and see how fast I'm going. Expecting myself to be doing 60 and I was doing 70. So surprisingly good, bearing in mind there's no protection really up front at all. That little um, screen must be helping. One thing I've noticed about the indicators, if you put the indicator on, uh, like here, I'm going to indicate left, you're coming up flashing as if you've got your hazards on which you haven't I've just checked it and it's just one indicator there I don't know why it would do that that seems extremely odd yeah really good on the dual carriage right there it, it surprised me how little I was affected by the wind there. I, I, I would have thought I'd be blown around all over the place being so upright. But not, not too bad at all. Right, let's go through town. Okay, a little bit of filtering maybe here, if the lights stay red. Mirrors are a little bit far out, but not too bad. Yeah, that works quite nice going through. There weren't no problems with this on UK roads. The dash, we've got a nice TFT screen here, which uh, gives you your speed quite clearly your RPM above that and then your range and trip and all the things you'd expect the mirrors are fine a little bit small but absolutely perfect when you've got them set up right and they're easy to adjust these ones you can just literally do it by hand as opposed to having to get any tools out or anything which is quite nice oh I don't want to be behind this oh, I don't want to be behind a one of the dumpsters because they absolutely stink which you pick up on the bike that's one thing I don't really tell you about riding you smell everything and being behind this it's horrible I'm 
trying to work out why when I indicate it would give me um, it, what looks like the hazard light indication on the dash. Now I know the lights are working at the front. What I'll have to do is when I pull over I'll have to check that they're actually working at the back because if one of them's out maybe that's why it's doing that as a indicator to the rider that you need to sort something out because I have no idea why you would why you would have that and not a normal sort of yes you're indicating left right we're through town almost let's um, let's get around the twisties and have some fun but very very good impression of this so far this seating position is really really nice okay let's get her up to speed Ooh, it knows how to go It's definitely got some power behind it, that is. Okay, I've put her in sport mode. Let's see what that's like. Feels good in the turns this bike. I think that's why they call it the scalpel. Because it just cuts through those bends. Obviously road surface isn't superb today because we had a lot of rain yesterday so uh, got to be a little bit careful but on a perfectly dry road I think this would be really good Riding more sedately through town like this is uh, really comfortable because you are so upright. It's um, extremely, extremely comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable it is, considering the amount of um, torque you've got and how much fun you can have with it when you want to. Reminds me a little bit of when I took out the. Triumph Scrambler 1200 and that's a 1200cc bike you know which was massive and um, you yeah, know this is a 799cc but it has that similar kind of you know upright position loads of torque I'm finding I can notice a difference as well between the road mode and sport mode the throttle is a lot more twitchy I suppose yeah really really fun bike this and very very easy to ride I'm actually very very impressed as this was not a bike on my radar really at all Okay, so we'll come back into town uh, and concluding thoughts as we're going back in. Um, really, really good bike this. It's, um, it, it has surprised me quite a bit because I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it, it's a lot, a lot of fun this is. And it handles so well that, 
you know, it, it's it's definitely something to consider. I mean, if you're looking at um, the MT-09, the Street Triple RS, you know, the maybe even the CB650R. Um, if I think about all of those bikes and you know the the fun I've had riding them I mean th this is very similar in the sense of what you can kind of do with it and what sort of fun you can have with it um, maybe the CB650R uh, maybe not quite including that just because you know it's, it's quite a bit less power um, but in terms of the power you've got on this it's it's not silly power you could use it quite a lot and get your fun out of it the seating position on it is really nice you, you're you're very upright and it feels similar to an adventure bike which i think i mentioned earlier but yeah when you twist the wrist and you start going some i mean it it really does go In terms of rider modes, yeah, there's a difference. Um, I think I prefer the road mode. Just I find that the sport mode, the throttle is a little bit twitchy, and even just going over the odd bump here and there, I'm finding it's twitching the throttle quite a bit. So I'll just stick it in. I'll just leave it in road, and uh, that would be that'd be absolutely fine for me and fun for what I want to do with a bike. I suppose the only gripe with me that I find odd about this bike is, as I've mentioned, the um, when you indicate and, and what, what it says reads out on the TFT display, uh, I, I just find that very, very odd. Very, very odd. The um, styling of the bike, not particularly my taste. Um, however, the ride is so good on it that I would probably overlook that because it rides fantastic. Oh, I don't think I can squeeze through there. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button and comment. If this is a bike you own, uh, please do drop in your feedback as well. Um, let me know if any problems you've had with the bike or what your views on it, having ridden it more than I have. Um, it's only been a couple of hours that I've had it. And to stay in touch with my future videos, please do remember to hit the subscribe button. Uh, many thanks again to Lagunas for lending me this bike absolutely amazing bunch of guys if it is about you're interested please do give them a shout and i will catch you for the next one cheers <laughs>